Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. GF pregnant by another guy after a wild weekend of with him. Gory details inside. Thoughts appreciated. My girlfriend and I are both 30 years old. We both have nice careers and earn a decent living. We've been dating for five years. I'm madly in love with her. To be honest, she is the most gorgeous lady I have ever seen. She is all the makings of a model. She is many men's ideal lady and a solid 10 slash 10. Whenever she goes out, she is constantly hit on. Regardless of whether I'm present or not. Me, not so much, despite the fact that I have no trouble attracting ladies. I am above average, 7 slash 10, and take care of myself, but I am not cut out to be a male model or anything else. In general, our relationship has been wonderful. We've never been disloyal to each other, and we're madly in love. I adore her to the moon and back. However, the previous six months or so have been tough. Work has been in high gear for both of us, and although we've saved up enough money to purchase our first home, neither of us has been able to come home before 10 p.m. We've basically been fatigued and have ignored both and our relationship, although for no other reason than time and exhaustion. My sentiments haven't changed, eh? And neither has hers. Fast forward to about 2.5 months ago, when we were both asked to separate reunions with old acquaintances from all over the nation, neither of us is originally from the region we currently live in. It was a terrific way for both of us to unwind after working so hard and ignoring life for a few months, but we were both sorry it wasn't with each other. So we kissed, told one other how much we loved, and missed each other, and I went to my hotel while she went to hers. Let's just say our weekends couldn't have been more unlike. Hers involves attending a party when, in her estimation, the most attractive man she had ever seen approached her. He was apparently a buddy of a friend of someone else at the party. She essentially said that every lady was getting wet just looking at him and that she was on a high when this gentleman approached her. She had no intentions of doing anything, but everyone was drinking hard, and she ended up in bed with him. For the most part of the weekend, when she returned, she was the most caring and devoted girlfriend you'd ever seen. I was still too tired slash exhausted for but she was practically like a stepmother in the weeks that followed. I mistakenly simply chalked it up to her missing me and admiring how much she loved me. Fast forward again, she broke down and told me she couldn't take the deception any longer, and she told me everything. I'm sure she was prompted by the fact that she found out she was pregnant that morning. There is zero chance that it will be mine. She is the most pitiful and terrified lady you have ever seen. She even begged me to physically hit her since she is so enraged that she cheated on me. She will do anything I ask of her to make things right. It's truly rather frightening. She is terrified and physically shivering at the possibility of my abandoning her. If I'm being honest, I believe the most of the anxiety stems from the baby. She is sobbing, claiming that she can't get rid of it and that she is frightened of keeping it and raising it alone. I was entirely deafeningly deaf and I told her that before I went any further. I needed to know the truth. I have to remember every detail of what occurred that weekend or and out the door. I knew this was a two-edged sword, that reality and hard truths may ruin me, but I'm one of those individuals who can't not know. The information was horrible and made me physically nauseous. I really puked. For the weekend, my girlfriend essentially served as this guy's personal porn star. Here are some highlights. It was the hardest, most forceful she ever had, and she enjoyed every minute of it. It was the finest she had ever had. During their weekend in bed, she had multiple strong and intense. She's never done anything like this before with anybody or by herself. He had the greatest she'd ever had. 9. He let her measure it during one of their games, which stroked all the right places, and he could go on for hours, they didn't wear any protection, obviously, and he got all over her face and inside her multiple times over their weekend together. What size were this guy's balls? After coming on her, he pulled her back on the bed, picked up his sperm with his finger, and F.E.D. it to her. He slapped her, not too hard, her and her face stirring, and before she could feel the pain or respond, he would mutter or do something passionate that made her simply let him keep going, as she put it. That weekend, he essentially taught my girlfriend how to enjoy some BDSM, awesome. On his camera phone, he captured some of the above. So somewhere there's a video of my girlfriend literally behaving like a porn star in a cheap hotel room. So there, read it. I can't say I didn't think about the consequences of asking, but help. I've had my heart torn out from under me. 
As a result, I now have a girlfriend who is pregnant by a male model BDSM hero with a magical cock who is going to carry his baby, and who is so sad she will do anything the I want just so I can get over this and remain with her. Basically, as long as I don't leave, I can treat her as I want. It doesn't matter if I loathe her for the rest of my life as long as I remain with her. We've been talking about marriage and children for the last year, and she's still waiting for me to say yes. She continues vowing to spend the rest of her life making things right with me and being the greatest wife I could ever desire. I'm at a loss for words right now. I feel as if every sensation in my body has been shorted out, and I am now completely numb. My initial inclination is to just wait for her to arrive at work in the morning, then pack my belongings and depart. I'm not the sort of guy who would care for another man's child, especially now that I know the complete story of how it came to be. We only have two months remaining on our lease, and I can easily relocate to a different part of the nation with my employment. Right now, I'm quite thankful for that, so I have the option of leaving and never speaking or hearing from her again. The only issue is that I'm madly in love with her. I don't think I'll ever be over her, I'm undecided. I'm questioning myself. What are your thoughts, Reddit? Is it feasible to get out of this situation? I can't think of anything. I just can't parent this man's child. I'm afraid not. My thoughts were all over the place. Rational thinking would be fantastic right now. Story 2. My wife cheated on me, and I don't know how to deal with it. All of this occurred four months ago. I'm sure she did. We were going through some difficult times, trying to figure out where we wanted our lives to go, and things seemed a little stagnate. A lot of debt and little genuine job development in either scenario. We discuss. Declaring bankruptcy and obtaining a divorce. She suggested that we live apart for a week or two while we were attending to therapy. I was extremely opposed, but she insisted on it. I was advocating for therapy, but she didn't see the purpose. Things were so difficult and uncomfortable near one other in the final few days we shared a home. We would make an effort to spend time together while having meaningful conversations about our relationship. It developed into us remaining in separate rooms and sobbing and clutching each other whenever we made eye contact. After a few days, I decided to spend some time apart and moved in with a friend. I couldn't weep any longer. It hurt so much to even consider parting up. I promised her I'd move out for a while if she went to therapy, and she agreed. It was a Monday evening. We didn't communicate much when we were living apart. We went to the counselor and then went on a date. I told her I couldn't sleep and had dreams about her cheating on me. We each left to our different houses after she wept. Thursday was the day. We went to therapy and on Sunday she phoned me and said there was no way we could work it out. I told her I wasn't going to talk about divorce over the phone and requested her to meet with me on Monday. We decide to reconcile on Monday after being together for six years. It would be foolish to throw everything away. She informed me that if we were going to be together, she had to tell me that she had gone on a date with a man. He was a man she met at work, a bank. He was wealthy, had his own company, and was roughly seven years our senior. She said they kissed, at which point she freaked out and bolted. She said that she contacted him on Sunday through Facebook and was perplexed to learn that we were separating. I read her diary the day before yesterday. On the Tuesday before we visited the counselor, she went on a lunch date with him. She slept with him on Sunday night. I can't bring up this aspect of our divorce. Without her exploding, she wasn't truthful with me about what occurred, and I'm still upset about it. My work is suffering as a result of my inability to sleep at night. I'm a loss on what to do. I want to work things out because I adore her. I'm not interested in being with anybody else. Otherwise, everything has been going swimmingly. We're managing our money properly, spending more time together, and in general, we've solved or put in motion a strategy to fix most of our difficulties. It's really painful. I'm baffled by the dishonesty. I don't recall her apologizing for it. She informed me flatly that it was none of my concern and that we were no longer together. But it continues to gnaw at me. It's always in the forefront of my thoughts. I wish I could erase the whole week from my mind. She hasn't been communicating with him. I know because I've been monitoring her phone calls and numbers called. It's actually done, yet yeah, I'm still not over it.